Aren't you worried that if your partner goes to bed with someone else, she will start comparing you to other people whenever you do it? No, not at all. I hope she does compare. I hope when she's lying there in my arms that she can feel his hands there too, stroking her back, feeling the same curves that I'm running my hands over now. I hope when she kisses me that there's a split second of the memory of him, intruding like a strobe light, catching her breath, that the memory of him and the sensations of now with me blend and resonate like two tones being played together. We can be this to her in the dark, two notes sounding at once, equal in volume, similar in so many ways, but resonating at very different frequencies. And the difference between them, that comparison, that relationship? Well, that's how music is played. Because these days, I don't look for lovers to pick out Mary Had a Little Lamb on a toy piano, or ones who plunk out a soulless rendition of Chopsticks, performed like a party trick. Instead, I want messiness, counter melodies, harmonies, polyrhythms. I want partners who can play chords. When I was a young musician, there was often a first chair, a second. We were absolutely ranked in our groups, and that was difficult. Even if you practiced, poured your heart into it, and gave music your all, there was no guarantee that you'd be first chair, ever. And being a soloist was even rarer. There were only so many opportunities for people to solo on any given song, even in jazz groups. Concert performances could only run so long. But I knew, and still know, one thing. Those who cared more about soloing and being a star and cared less about the music were usually the ones who never got really good. The ones who ended up soloing were obsessed with the music itself and would have continued to play even if they never had an opportunity to shine. They dug the ensemble work. And the best soloists didn't just improvise. They also interacted with the piano player, the bassist, the drummer, modified what they did to weave in and out, and offered those comparisons and contrasts through playing off the rhythm section. So I absolutely hope she does compare. I hope we all make beautiful music together. This has been Aren't You Afraid Your Partner Will Compare You to Other People in Bed? For more information on polyamorous relationships and other topics, check out the rest of our videos and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.